tell you about the Monster Abyss. There's nothing funny about his style. And the Moody's in here. We saw when Abyss did the homicide earlier. Normally a pretty pissed off man is Abyss. But now that he has the, the guidance of JT Davidson on the outside and the rest of the killer Colt watching his back, this monster is it's gonna be unleashed here in Angel. Here we go. Man, trying to reason with Abyss. I don't know that that's gonna get this match won. Man is sizing up the big man. Here we go, they're gonna tie up. No, oh, Cabana. Grabs that wrist. That might be what he has to do. He might, he might have to try and out-wrestle the big man. Which is, let's be honest, Cole Cabana could do to anybody on any this? given day. Very well-traveled, well-accomplished. Ah, Cabana has snaps. I've heard him talk many times on this podcast. If I see you on your phone during my match, I will confiscate your phone, and he has done this. Again, grabs that wrist twist, does Cabana. Now finds way into the side headlock, now spins around into a hammerlock. Well, Cabana's strategy, obviously, to out-wrestle Abyss and try to catch a flash pin, perhaps. Obviously not going to try to brawl with him. Very well versed in that world of sports style. in the center of the ring by these two combatants. Cabana, no slouch in the power department, that's for sure. This has a little height, and that's working against Cabana right now. A little bit of height, a little bit of weight. That's <laughs> <laughs> the hole. Yeah. It's causing Abyss to do the splits. Very unique way to break that hole. Might have been looking standing shattered dreams. Instead, Abyss catches the boot and gets caught with that boot. Hard shot from Cabana. Cabana may be playing some mind games. Maybe that's his strategy. Get Abyss thinking one way, hit him the other. Oh! Cabana out the back door and he slaps him on the ass for good luck. Delayed sunset flip. on that earthquake splash by Abyss. Oh, oh, oh. with an assist from LPJ. There you go, there you go, come on. Yeah, the, very deep behind the knees of Abyss on that cover. Oh, distribution of the weight on their shoulder blades of Abyss as well. Oh, a big right hand. Those are gonna be, those are gonna be the kind of pins that Cabana's gonna have to go for. Oh, definitely. Oh, JT getting out. Elbow, no. Cabana was sticking elbow. There you go! Oh, up. the choke slam! Cabana's smart, but you move getting out of the ring. High impact choke slam like this. There you go! There you go! JT Davidson laying the boots on the outside on Cabana. This is in JT Davidson's best interest to get involved against Cabana, but I guess when you got a monster like Abyss on the outside watching your back, you can kind of do whatever you want. Go for that pole. I'm sure a long time AEW listener is so sick of me saying the pole, but it is a hazard. And these guys gotta watch out. Well, you know, without the runner, the highest company's been growing. There's new oh. listeners every single month. Oh. You they all need to know. They all need to know. That's right. It's a pole right in the middle of the arena. Watch out for it. That's all I'm saying. This is not the match Cole Cabana wanted. He did not want to be out there on that guardrail. Or maybe so. Cabana trying to brawl a little bit now. And now he has, he has Abyss in short corners, which means that he can throw a little more oomph into his strikes. 
double chops, but that short right hand for Abyss is going to be the equalizer all night. Abyss now whips him into the card rail. Oh, good God. Almost wiped out the fan in the Shinsuke Nakamura shirt. Abyss now jaw jacking with the fans. Havana gets thrown back into the ring by the Monster Abyss. Now Abyss in firm control here on Cabana. Gets back in the corner. Abyss, nothing fancy in this match. Just straight ahead offense and it's very important. Charging. Big splash in the corner, Avalanche splash. <laughs> and for a split second, the only thing holding Colt Cabana up was the shoulder of Abyss. Oh, come on, come on. Again with the chair, with the pillar card all night. Totally unnecessary. Oh, Midsection. And Abyss doesn't need to do this. <laughs> this is for an NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Right. He's already in first control of this contest. Has Cabana right where he wants him. Now using that equalizer. Come on. Set up for What's he looking for here? It might be the quick drop. Oh, Cabana got the chair up. Jared came back to bite Abyss in the nuts. As it is 3 a.m. here at Bourbon Street. Hour number six of the show. And that chair look first. Oh, hard shot from Cabana. Look at the get it again. Wearing that chair out of the massive back of Abyss. Finally gets him down. And I've got in mind here. Ah! Oh, man, have caught up with this. Causing him to sit down. Now the jam. They push him in the back of the head. Abyss went neck first with that bottom rope. And the size of Abyss worked through his favor there. Cabana thought that he would have had him for a one, two, three. But Abyss half of his body laying under that bottom rope. Well, now sets up the chair. Very astute officiating by Rock Court Joey. Oh, yeah. Good job, First. This is professional wrestling redefined.